Hey everybody and welcome to EverythingVoiceOver.com. My name is Justin D. Torres. Today we're going to be going in depth a little bit more into the rendering in, in Reaper. And this may, this little tip here today may speed you up uh, a bunch when it comes to uh, doing a bunch of auditions. Now what, uh, what we have here is a couple of fake auditions that I've done today with a couple of mistakes that are on there that I'm going to edit out. But the whole concept of what I'm trying to get across is that we're going to name each region before we render so that when we render out all of our six or seven regions they will be named before I render them so I don't have to listen to them and rename them so we're going to name them as we go and we're gonna name the regions as we go so that when we render them all together they will be in the correct naming scheme that you want okay because what uh, whenever we add a region it, it, it defaults to a number or defaults to nothing but you really want to kind of have like a name to those regions because otherwise you're just going to have a million numbers and it's not going to work out and you're going to try and find an old audition and then it's going to drive you insane. So you want to have kind of a clue as to what the audition is as you are, uh, as you are doing it. Okay, so let's have a listen. I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. Justin D. Torres, this is an audition for a toy. This is an audition for a toy company. All right, so I made a mistake there, so I can get rid of the audition for a toy. Delete, and we've got Dustin D. Torres. This is an audition for a toy company. All right, so now this is an audition for a toy company, so what I'm going to want to do is hit Shift while I'm selecting uh, the front end of the audition, and if there was more to the audition, I would hit Shift and select the back end selecting both of them and what you're going to do is you're going to add region and that is a function that is on the actions menu I'm, I hotkeyed it to a specific button so what will happen is I'll hit that button it added a region now if you're trying to figure out what is add a region it's different than insert a region it's actually adding a region and if you look in your actions list show action list one second show actions list and if we go into this and we we search for add region, add region, it's a region where we're at region, yes, this is the function you're going to want to uh, put on to a, a, uh, a button. So you want to add, right now I have shift R put to markers, insert region from selected items. It's imperative to choose selected items so that it'll be easy for you to just shift click uh, five or six, shift click the entire audition and hit the button and then it'll insert the, the region for those items. So remember you go to actions list right here and then search for region and then go for a markers insert region from selected items and that'll be able to give you this this great function of putting a, putting a region on the selected items now once you've got that you want to name it so you right click the top edit region and you put in the name well this is a for a toy company so I'll put in toy company and that's it so that's gonna be the function I'm gonna do for all of these so I'll go to the next one Hey, it's Justin D. Torres. This is an audition for a commercial. That's very dramatic. All right, that sounds very fine to me. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit the Add Region of Selected Items. And this is a dramatic commercial, so I'll put in Dramatic Commercial. Uh-huh. Done and done. Okay. Next one. Hey, it's Justin D. Torres. This is an audition. For an audiobook. This is an audition for an audiobook. The day started out like any other. John got up, washed his face, and then stared out of the window for three hours. Alright, so I want to get this a little bit closer in. For an so audiobook. Edit. The day started out like any other. Not like any other. John got up, washed his face, and then stared out of the window for three hours. All right, we're going to go ahead and select the back. So now this is a larger one, so I'm going to select the back end or the front end. Either one, hit Shift, hit it, make sure it's all selected, and hit the Insert Region button that I have hot keyed to Shift R, Edit Region, and what is this, an audiobook? So I, I could even put John's audiobook if I have multiple audiobooks. Next one and the last one. Hey, it's Justin D. Torres. This is a monster truck promo. 
All right, I think there's a big gap in there, so I'm going to get rid of it. Select it and delete. And then I want to just tighten it up. Select the two, insert the region, say monster truck drama. All right, so now we've got four auditions. We've already named them. If you look at it, let me just pull it back here so you can see it. All right, so we've got all of our additions all nice and tidied up. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. All right, we've got four auditions right there. We've got them already named as we went. Perfect. Then, if you remember the rendering process, we go to render. And then I've got my uh, MP3 version of stuff. The bitrate's correct. Then if I do regions, project regions, and I render for these four files, they should be named Toy Company, Dramatic Commercial, John's Audiobook, and Monster Truck. That's region. Now, if I want to go one step further, and I want to make sure that all my audio uh, things have my name on it, I could go J. Torres on front of it, and then hit that region. Keep that region thing in there, because that'll put the region in every one of the things. See, if you look at it, the render two is showing me where it is and what it's going to be named. So the first one is going to be named J Torres Toy Company. Pretty cool, huh? So when you render them out, what's going to happen? Render, render, one, two, three, four. If you look at it, it's telling you exactly what it is. Now let's show these in the Explorer, and there we are. There's our boys. You got a little hint of what I do on an everyday basis. So these are all auditions. Um, there we go. Got John's audiobook, Monster Truck, Dramatic Commercial Toy Company, so that when you do end up doing it, it'll be perfect and you'll know what it is. And if you have to find it, you'll be able to find it. This has been a, a, uh, a big tip for how to render through uh, Reaper, maybe uh, an advanced tip on using the rendering matrix. My name is Justin e. Torres. This has been EverythingVoiceOver.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to go to Twitter and follow us on Everything V or go to our uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Everything Voice Over There. So, thank you guys so much for listening. Have a great day. Take care.